hello. It's your host, Reese here, and here to probably present to you our last installment. Our installment 14 of our Egyptian magic tricks. Here we got is 8 on our part 2. Without any further ado, just like thumbs up for me, and let's get around to him from here. Now, I will see you at one of the park's tricks table. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm just reading this uh, big book of the pharaohs, the great ancient book of spells and Egyptian magic. As this, let's get whatever in this book here and bring us magic from the book right to you. I wonder what we have. As it is, let's read off our first one. As it is, let me put this big book aside for now. Okay, what tricks are we getting to? But to our trick number one, and on part two, to our eighth trick, which goes to the magic ancient egg cups magic trick. Is what this will look like. So here I got is one, two, three, four cups to have the Eye of Horus on each of them. Here I got is this nice ancient green egg here and I got this nice magic wand that we'll use for it. On that side, like over here. Okay, we're going to is uh, to take this egg here, I'm going to put it into this cup here. So you can see that it's taking this cup, this egg right there like that we're gonna actually is get these um a mix like this like so the egg is in this cup here okay you're gonna go and give this a mix like this that okay so i gave the the uh cups a nice mix here Get again like that okay so um, take a note, which one has the, um, egg? Is it this cup? Okay. How about, um, this cup? That dude has no egg. Let's see, we got two cups here. This one? No. Okay, we only got one more left. Are you sure that it's in this cup? Yes. Where did that go? Where did that green egg go? Okay, I'll just put this aside there. And I'll just um, move this over here. Make sure it's spaced out. Good. I'll go right there. There. And last, but there. Okay, good. So we got now all four here. Let's see if we can try and uh, get one of these uh, uh, cups here. This one actually is uh, put that cup there. Okay, so this is all of them are completely empty. Okay, let me just remix these again. Like this. Okay, now I want to, now I'm gonna see where the, the uh, green egg is, the ancient egg, okay. What, well, see here, is it in, in this cup here? No. Okay. I got three. Okay, is it in, let's see, is it in this cup? No. I wonder where it is. I got is uh, this one here. We'll see if it's in here. I'll bring these up for it first. No. Okay. How about this one? I wonder. Look, by magic, the egg is under the last cup. So how did I do this during ancient master trick? As is I'm about to reveal the. Exit and stick it to you right now. Here's what you need. Two. 
do this magic trick. And as you'll see, just right here, you'll need is a, a green Easter egg to go go for it. That'll be your ancient egg, ancient bird egg. Then you will be needing our, um, and there's a wand. Here I made this wand for this. It got some nice design onto it, like that. And then you will be, be needing our one, two, three, four gold paper cups. And design on an eye of horse onto all four. And have a little bit of um purple strip on top and on the bottom. What you're going to do is take the one egg, take one, and you're going to, as you put this in, you're going to actually is take this back out like this, like that. This now goes into your pocket at a slant like this. Then you're going to is point with the wand where the egg is right here. After that is done, what you're going to is now is shuffle and mix up the cups like this. Like that. You can do as many times as you like. Make sure that I have horses are facing the audience. Then you say about where you, you want to know where the egg is. Take the wand and the point and go, okay, okay, so which one do you think is in? This one? Nothing in there. That was the side. Then you're going to do two other ones. Is it in this one? Nothing in there. That goes into that cup. Two more. Bring them forward. Okay, where is the egg in? Is it in this cup? Cap? Nothing in there. Place that into the other cup. Then in one last cup, you're going to put it down and say, I wonder if the, the egg is in here. Do you think it's inside here? Pick it up, and no egg is to be seen. Okay, what it's going to do is take that one cup there, like that, and um, take the other cups out, and line them up, make sure the wand, to even it out. Space them out. Like that. And then after that, you're going to put the wand down. You're going to pick up one a cup. It will take this cup. And that's that. You're going to is take out the green egg and place it into the cup like this. Make sure that it's not get exposed. Make sure it's covered. Then you're going to is just remix it up again. Like this. Like that. And then you're going to say, okay, no, where do you think the egg is? Is it in this one? Nope, not there. Go to where the egg is not first. Is it in this cup? Not there. Is it in this cup, you think? Not there. Make sure you put your wand right inside there to show that there's nothing there. Then in the last cup, move it forward. Or you can just use a wand and we move it forward like that. Then you're going to say, do you think it's in this cup right here? Give it a tap. And by magic, the egg is to be seen. Just like the cups and balls routine, but in itself is another ancient magic trick that you could do because as it actually is an ancient magic trick that um, the first pharaoh had ever done to besides the cups and balls routine as well as the ancient egg and cups magic trick. That's also a no one that he has done as well. That right there is how you, you perform the magic trick to the ancient magic egg cups. Bring us down to our next ancient magic trick we get to. To our number two and on part two, our ninth one. And that goes to the ancient spirit ca candle. Magic trick. Is it this? What it look like? So here I got this um, a spirit candle. Watch. Whoa. Brought light to it by the ancient spirit. So, how did I do this one? As it is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you'll need for this one. You will be needing is this um, LED um, 
candle here. We're gonna paint, uh, get some uh, masking tape. We're gonna give it a paint and some black. Get them paint in gold or a kind of like um, an ancient kind of color like this. And uh, here it has the switch in the back. Then we're gonna turn this on like this. It'll turn on and give the light. You're going to have your thumb at the bottom of it here, ready to deploy the lever. Like this. this is facing you. As now, you can just uh, uh, reach out and call upon the um, ancient spirit to turn on the candle. Like this. Okay, so from here, let's go watch. Like this. You're going to hold on to uh, this here and say words like, let the spirit of Egypt bring light to this candle. <gasps> Make sure you act surprised when you see the uh, candle turn on after calling out the ancient spirit. There it gets the, uh, the light in with this one as well as the ancient candle. And as I do the trick too, the magic ancient spirit candle tr trick. So here I sit where the hieroglyphics are, and here I'll call up our next um, magic trick from here, our another ancient magic trick, and that goes to the magic trick number three, and on part two to our tenth one, and that goes to the ancient magic canoptic jar magic trick. Is what this will look like. So here I got is some cars right here, and I got this canoptic jar you see right here. Well, let's take a look in the canoptic jar first. It is what it appears to be is Anubis. Can take a look. Uh, there is nothing inside this Anubis. Here it actually is going to close the lid of the canoptic jar. Like that, I'm going to take the top card here, and we'll see what we could do with this. Just, uh, just to take this, I'll take our these cards right here. I'm gonna actually is um, I'll place the card into here just so you guys can see the card right there. Okay, I'm gonna actually gonna go in like this. What I'm going to do is to uh, take the card here. Watch what I can do. Okay, so here I got the card already in the inside there. That gonna actually is um, have it to disappear. Watch. Where did it go? Let's see. I just take the lid off and look. Made its way into the canoptic jar. You see, just right here. So how did I do this one? I was about to reveal the secrets. This is what you need for this magic trick. What you'll need for this is what you'll see just right here. That is this monster deck. You're gonna get two duplicate cards from two decks. Here I chose was um, the two eyes right here. The, have a symbol on it, and then you'll need our, these, the rest of the cards as numbers. Then you need, need the canoptic jar, actually made it, 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 this one, and get with some sand. From Egypt, or just any sand that you want to put into the jar. What I'm going to do is preload the card into the jar, like this, in with the sand, like this. And cover it. With the sand, so no one sees the card, like this, like that. Make sure you don't see uh, 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 yeah, uh, see the card, like that. You can see it's just the sand. The only thing I do is you just give it the uh, top a cover of the canoptic jar, like this. You're gonna take two cards out, and then take the one. 
here that you want to make vanish and that to go, go, go in here. You're going to is to take this, place it in just like this, and pull out like this. And close it. Now you can easily just pull this off like this. Like that. Card is just right here. And then some of the cards like this. This pulls of this down. And then you're going to is uh, give the cards a stick like this. And brush the hand out like that. And make it disappear. After it is done, welcome in. That can um, pick jar. All you gotta do is you just simply just to take off the lid of the can, not to draw like this. And so, what end up in the can, not to draw in the sands of Egypt. Do this done. Dust off the card. And so. And that right there is how you do, do the magic trick to the magic ancient canoptic jar. Master Jack. For those that don't know what Canoptic Jar is, it is where they um, place um, the um, e e essential organs of um, in there for protection for mum mummification. That's what they use for. But um, also be great for a magic trick. And that one there, I made that specifically for other Egyptian magic tricks. I will show you that again, and then we'll carry on to the next master trick from here. There's various ones, there's birds and, 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 and other, but here I got is one, um, um, an animus one, you see right here. I made it, this one right to, um, the finest of details, as you see, just right here. So yeah, this right here brings you today a master trick with this, making this an ancient magic trick. As I do, and before the magic trick, to that one. Since we're getting to, into stuff like that, we're gonna get down to our next one that goes right into the box, kind of like to my box, and in there we'll make something appear inside of it, a viper. And that goes into our next one, which comes into our fourth trick, and that is to, to a part two, our 11th one. And that is to the Egyptians magic viper box magic trick. Is what this will look like. See here that it just that here I got this um blank top. You're gonna actually is uh take the part right here. I can see that there's nothing inside of here. Okay. Now, actually, it's make a viper to appear in the inside. You think we can? Well, with ancient Egyptian magic, we can definitely make that happen. If I just uh, take um, my wand here, we can make magic happen with this. Okay. So here, what I'm going to is just uh, go and uh, box here like that. That gun is just gonna this. I think it's gonna shake like that. I'll just take the wand here. Watch this. To Egypt. Straight to the Pharaohs of Magic. We'll see what that did. <gasps> Whoa! What's this? A viper. All the way from Egypt, I got a viper from the box. So how did I get this viper to appear in the box by ancient Egyptian magic? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secrets. This is what we need for this magic trick. Okay, so here is what you'll need for this um, ancient master trick. You will need is a fake viper, you see right here? That almost looks like it came from, from Egypt, by, by the looks of it. Of course, you'll need, need is your magic wand to go with it. 
Then you'll need is a gimmick, which is just a black sheet of paper. You see just right here. Then you'll need is a nice um, ancient gold box that has the uh, um, the um, the um, Anabis eye. You see right here. This is the Anabis eye in a different kind of form. And here is the um, I have Horus on here in in purple. You see right there. What you want to do is disassemble the box. You don't need that, but you will be needing is this part here. What you're going to do is preload in the Viper. I'll show you how to preload. It's very simple. You're just going to is um, take the uh, Viper and just wrap it up a bit so the tail does not flash. And you're going to put it into the box just like this. Seen right here. Then you're going to give that a cover with the um, your seat like this to create the empty look. So start off with this first. To sew this part empty. Then you're going to sew the box here empty as well too. As I've seen the both empty, what you're going to is assemble the box together like this. This will drop in like this. Make sure you get a shake like that. This is happening um, when it is uh, covered like this. Like that. Use your magic wand and say to um, use it straight to the furrows of magic and get the box with tap. Like that. There it is done. Open the box lid. And by magic, a viper appears in the inside. After it is done, present to the wand. And then go in and take out the viper snake from the box. As you see, just right here. Because there, it uh, gets the snakes in there as well. And the ancient box, and you got yourself an amazing um, ancient aesthetic that you can do. Get up for the magic appearing viper box magic trick. Here's something very in interesting. Even the pharaoh um, that has lots of supernatural abilities is able to transform his face from human to a mummy. You heard of the movie The Mummy and able to transform as it is? We got a transformation in this one. Coming into our next master trick, we get to, to our fifth one and on part two. That is our twelfth one. Goes to the ancient Pharaoh's magic shawl. Magic trick. That's what this will look like. But first, let me take off this. So here I got is the uh, soul of one of the pharaohs of magic. We'll see if we can try and do a little bit of magic ourselves with this. I've had the abilities to transform just like the Mummy, watch this. I am the mummy. Happy to meet you. Wow, this is amazing. Being here, oh wow, I'm so blown away, this is cool. I kind of like this, bring out the magic of Egypt.
Whoa! Wow! <laughs> cool! How was I able to do that? I didn't know I had that in me! Wow! That's like the mummy and now! So how did I do this one? As is I'm about to reveal the ancient Egyptian secret to you right now. Here's what you need for this one. Now as you'll see just down here, you will be needing only two things for this. One you'll need is your Halloween zombie mask, which is gonna be your um, mummy from Egypt. You see right here. And then you'll be needing is a shawl that looks like it came from Egypt as well too. This is what you'll see right here. What you wanna do is you're going to have the shawl out like this and open. You're going to is take your Halloween mask and place into the shawl. Just just right here in the back like this. Like that. And you're gonna hold it like this as you would to holding on a shawl like this in the back. Now this allows you to actually um, morph and transform into the mummy or into a zombie or like that. It's very simple because what you're gonna do is gonna just to get the mask like this. You can either put your face on like this and then go like this and transform yourself into a mummy or a zombie. Take the uh, shawl and put it onto your shoulders like this. And then again to is deepen your voice and say, Hi, I am the mummy. Here, get to you the magic of Egypt. Something like that. So make your voice sound a little, di a little different. That way it's different from one another. Now, after you get this, you're going to take off the shawl, like this, and you're going to reverse it to morph back into your face. By going like this, cover, take this off, make sure you hide it, and like this, and then fold the shawl, like this, and by ancient Egyptian magic, Transform into the mummy, the zombie, by the use of a pharaoh's magic soul, just like this. And that right there is how you do the magic trick too, the magic ancient pharaoh's soul magic trick. This lets us know the mummy itself is actually the pharaoh mummy, and with that was able, because of the magic, it had a supernatural ability to transform um, with it as well too. And now you know the secrets on how this master was pulled. It's a very ancient master trick that anyone can do. Give it up for the magic pharaoh's shawl. Magic trick. So what's our next one? Our next ancient magic trick. Coming into our ancient magic trick number six and on part two. That goes to our thirteenth one. That is two. The magic appearing skull tower. Magic trick. And so this will appear like. Okay, so here. I come to you over here to this nice, wonderful display book, cannot the jar, and viper box. And here I got my wand here, and I'm gonna show you um, is uh, the Pharaoh's cloak that we'll be using for this. You can take a look here. Uh, there's nothing there. I'm gonna actually is make something. Uh, appear with this. I wonder if I can actually is um make a skull tower to um actually appear just right about 
here. Like this. Okay, so here I'm going to hold this. All we'll need is this. Right about here. Watch. Straight from Egypt to the Pharaohs of Magic. And by magic, I get Tower of Skulls to appear. Wow! It was able to move my scepter. So how did it get the skull of Talus to appear? As is about to reveal the secrets. Is what we need for this one. Okay, so first up you'll need to get is this is a tower of skulls. It's here you can find in a Halloween store or to have an order in. Um, but here is the tower. Now this tower actually, um, they've actually made this actually in Egypt as well too. But also it's from Halloween, so I brought this in for this um, installment on our part two. Then you'll need to go with it is our next item, which is just um, right over here. Yeah, uh, it's the uh, ancient scepter. You see this right here that we used for the wand to make this appear. Then you will need is um, the uh, shawl again for the covering. This is what you'll see just right here. I'll show you in full. Which is uh, this right here. What we want to do is take the sculpt of towers and put it down to the, uh, the, to the uh, table. That way they don't get to see the skull of, of towers. So let me put this down and I'll show you what you're going to do next. And I'll show you where I placed the Tower of Skulls. Just right over here. So this is like right down where you can easily go and pick this up because this, our next thing is to use the uh, cloak as the uh, right over here as the covering for the Tower of Skulls scene right here. First up you want to is show the skull, no the yes, skull, excuse me, and um, you know you're going to is look from back and front that there's nothing there. Then you're going to is um, drop this down to where the uh, skull of towers is right here, and collect it with the saw like this. You're gonna pick it up like this. Be very careful as you pick this up, so it's in behind the saw right there and good to go. Your next step is to um. Place this onto to the, the table like this, and have the saw to come out of it like this. Pass it like this, so you can easily is place the skull ta uh, of uh, towers in place of it like this. Skull of towers was placed right there. This is cover uh, is covering it like this. You can. Hold it just like this with your hand, just like that. Take the, uh, the, uh, se the uh, scepter here and wave over it, go like this, and peel this down or pull it up and away, whatever you prefer. So, from over here, I'm going to is do exactly what I just did, like this, and go like this to the Pharaohs of Magic of Egypt. Tap and then go like that. And make it appear until it's done. Place the scepter on top of the uh, skull over here, just like this, like that. And make it move.
Just like that. That's what you do, master trick two, the magic appearing. No, the, the ancient magic appearing skull tower magic trick. There it gets your your uh, scepter, the soul, and of course the skull tower. Because this being our final one, this is going to be all of our epic magic tricks um, for the uh, the, uh, the summertime as it is. Summer is coming to a close here on the 22nd, which is where it officially ends. Now that's that. We've also put in uh, more Egyptian magic tricks than usual because of how um, magical it is for the summer as well as for great... Um, magic as well too. And also it ties us way into our next coming up event. What is that? If you're saying Halloween, you are correct. Because that's going to be coming up next. It'll be our Halloween tricks videos. I want to let you know that after we get this done, we'll jump into our back to school trick videos. And then from there, we'll get um, picked up and ready on the 1st of October. And probably we'll be, be finishing off in about like two weeks time and then um, getting ready for Halloween trick videos. Just want to give you a post it within this video. Anyways, with enough said, let's get on to our next master trick. What is that too? That is to the seventh one to our fourteenth one that goes to the magic Pharaoh Snake Sorcerer. Magic truck. Here's what this will look like. Here, I am a guard. I'm like a sorcerer, because of magic. You see here? I got this sword here that looks nice and ancient. Can you take a look? Nice ancient design onto it. How about if we could actually transform this sword into maybe a magic? Snake staff. I wonder. Watch this. I go in here and just say like this. Watch. Boom! And the snake decided to split it away from me. Wow! I just transformed the sword into a snake staff. Now, I can charm snakes. Oh, snakes, please come. So, how did I do this one? As this is about to reveal the secrets. This in here is morphing object to an object. Here's what you need to pull this one off. And what you'll need is an ancient sword. That's the same as the, um, the um, snake staff right here. You see, so the design on the uh, thing here, and then you'll need is a cloak with some nice um, stri uh, gold stripes right here, and you'll need is this one here that looks like a snake. It's actually an umbrella uh, thing that I've made into um, almost like a snake-like design onto it with gold um, ribbon, and then what you'll need next. Is you see on top of my head, and that's this um, um, snake hat right here. It's actually an Egyptian snake hat. Okay, so here is how I mark the sword into the wand. I'm gonna take this and place it into the under uh, the, uh, the covering like this, and hold it like that. This is facing like this. Why the cloak? Because it'll hide of what you're about to do. Take the sword. I'll try that one again. Sword trick. There we go. I just had to. A little bit of sword trick there. Okay, so you're gonna put the sword, sword like this. So the sword, the, the design. What you're going to do is put the sword in to the covering. We're gonna actually 
go into the, your cape here, into the armpit like this. And I'm thinking it's inside here. Hold on to the snake staff behind here and go like this and transform into this the uh, snake staff. And then to do the sorcerer move, all you gotta do is move around and say, Now I conjure up the snakes of Egypt. And as I do, the master trick two, the feral snake sorcerer master trick. There it gets your. So your Halloween stuff, which is a snake on there, your medieval like sword, ancient type there, the cape, and the ancient snake hat you see just right here. And then we get down to our last trick. This one here goes into the book of the magic of pharaohs, and coming into our eighth one. Brings us whole a 15 in our part two. And that goes straight to the ancient Pharaoh's Book of Magic. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Woo! Wow! Quite the big quite the big book. I don't know why. We'll see what what does it have? All these um, symbols and signs and stuff like this. Ancient writing. Wow. I wonder if we're gonna actually use a little bit of uh, ancient magic and get something from this book. Watch this. From the Egypt island, I'm with this. I don't know one. I leave us. Well, let's see what that did. It's actually an um, in center word. Let's see. If I just reach into here, back into the book, like that. Watch this. Are you ready? Whoa! I just pulled out an artifact from the, ma the uh, magic book. So how did I do this one? As is about to reveal the secrets. This is what you need for this. This one here is completely epic. Very ancient and very e Egypt-like. Okay, so here's what well, you, you'll need to pull this ancient Egyptian magic trick. It actually is a real magic trick. But here I did my own way. Actually, I created the book that you just seen. First, let's take a look at why it's holds for the um, artifact. And that's this um, big ca uh, candle holder you see right there that looks nice and e easy like. And then there's this book. Now it's all in the book, but there's something inside there. First, let me see, see the book. All the writing you see here on the booklet here is actually painted by me, including the eye right here and the wordings on here. And is the um, you see the pharaohs, the great ancient book of spells and Egyptian magic. And um, the, the I can also see the spine the spine of the book. Like this. This took me about um about more than like about six days, like six days in a, in a bit for the full make and uh, getting the details down on here. I'll show you what it looks like first before I uh, show you um the, how this was pulled first. Okay, so here is uh just paper that I put in the inside. Right here, I'm gonna come up closely and see. Right here. So I, I did the writing by itself into these books like this. Okay, so we will get down to the gimmick part. Now this is not other seats. It actually is the hollow part where you'll put the the uh, thing. And over here is pretty is a pretty big um 
round cylinder here that will actually fit in the rug seen right here or the um artifact what we're going to do is going to preload the book with it in the inside and we'll get to the uh, hole here like that so you can see where the hole is right here what we're going to do is um I need to take a look at what I do. That. And what I'm going to do is um, preload this in just like this. In the back of it, like that. That's where it'll, it'll be right inside there. Now the, co the, the pages will cover that part, and the cover, book cover goes like this. So over here, well it looks like from over here, you can see it more better in the light over here. It's really nice. All painted. It took me hours and hours in creating this book right here. I'm gonna put this facing you. And I'm going to is show the writing. I'll flick that. But then you're gonna actually is turn a different direction over here. Like this. Like that. So the book, have you there, had them to show you to um, go through the book, like that, get to what the console is right here, and pull out like this, and by magic, pull out the, um, the artifact from the Egyptian book seen just right here. As you can see right over here, give it up for the ah! map. And here you can see here is the book right there. Give it up for the magic pharaohs, the great book of the ancient spells and the Egyptian magic book. You see just right here. There it gets the book of magic and the artifact that, that goes with it. And now this concludes our part two. I'll see you all back for our back to school tricks uh, videos very quickly from here. We're not ending off with the word magic and the eye of magic.